This is step four of the pillowcase project. What it's gonna have us do, we're gonna lay our main fabric, which is our big piece, pretty side up on a flat surface. So that means that we need to unfold it completely. And we wanna make sure, once again, that we can tell the difference between our pretty side and our ugly side. We are laying it out flat completely, pretty side up on a flat surface with our hem slash trim fabric pretty side down. So the side that we sewed our trim on, the side we sewed that, that accent piece is our pretty side. So we want to make sure that we get this pretty side down, matching up those cut edges right across the top. We're gonna, just like we did when we placed the accent fabric onto the hem, and we're just gonna match across and pin. The straighter you did step one with the cutting, the easier this step is gonna be. You're gonna go through all the layers of fabric and back up to the top with our pins, placing our pins approximately a hand width apart, working our way across. As you're pinning, the whole, remember the whole purpose of pinning is to act like little fingers, the pins act like little fingers to hold everything in place so that your hands can be doing other things. Now, once we get pinned across, just like when we attached the first seam, we want to check and see how closely our fabrics are lining up on this end. It doesn't matter if they're, if they're too short, if they're too long, we are gonna straighten all that up at a later time. Now, what we are gonna do is we are gonna sew right on top of where we sewed the first time. We're just using that quarter inch seam allowance one more time. You've got a couple of options here. I personally don't like sewing over the pins because they have that, that lip edge right there that the pins get caught on. So I do like sewing over the pins, but I like having the pins on the bottom side. So as long as I'm following that outside edge, I'll be sewing right on top of where I sewed the last time. I'm gonna go ahead and put my needle down so that if I need to stop or make adjustments, the needle or if my fabric doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna sew two or three stitches, back stitch two or three, then I'm gonna work my way across this seam, keeping my fabric lined up at the outside edge of the presser hook. The straighter you do this, the easier the next step is going to be. You want to ensure that you've got all of those cut edges right up there together with your trim sandwiched between your pretty sides of your main and your hem. We're working our way across. You can go as fast or as slow. You'll notice my fabric starting to pull a little bit right there. I want to stop, get this, this main fabric pulled up so that it's meeting at the edge. Just working our way across. Remember the machine does the work. Your hands are just there to guide the fabric. We're working our way up along. As we approach the other side, remember we need to back stitch with two or three stitches at the very end. We want to put that needle up and trim up our threads. Okay, if you're looking at this, laying it out flat once again, I've got my seam right on top of where I sewed the first time. And if we actually flip it over and look, you'll They'll, they'll be pretty close to each other. You'll notice I'm off just a little bit right there. That's okay. It's within the seam allowance. We're gonna be good. It should be pretty close to right on top of where you sewed the first time. You pull out all the pins and you're ready for step five.